From the cleaning products under your sink to your daily multivitamin, biotechnology is quickly moving into the home. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBites. New laundry detergents, spray cleaners, and other household products are employing biotechnology to help us be greener while also trying to get things cleaner. For instance, some older cleaning products still use phosphates, which can lead to a decrease in dissolved oxygen in our lakes and streams. Several European countries are banning phosphates from laundry detergents, and they are being phased out of retail dishwasher detergents in the U.S. in 2010 as a result of some statewide bans and a plan offered by the detergent industry. This leaves the household cleaning product market with a big dilemma. How do you provide the same cleaning power without these traditional chemicals? Many companies are discovering that the answer can be found in enzymes. Enzymes are specialized organic substances that act as catalysts to spur chemical reactions. For example, our stomach secretes enzymes that help break down large molecules in the foods we eat into smaller ones so they can be digested and absorbed into the body. Proteases, lipases, and amylases are examples of enzymes that help break down various types of stains. Proteases are used to remove grass stains, lipases to remove grease stains, and amylases to remove sticky, starch-containing food stains. The science of biotechnology is helping us to engineer microbes and fungi to produce these enzymes for our cleaning products. More importantly, these enzymes can help replace the phosphates that have traditionally been used in detergents. Some enzymes can help lower energy consumption since they offer effective cleaning at relatively lower water temperatures than some of their traditional counterparts. And this can help each of us make a small contribution to reducing our greenhouse gas footprint where every step forward helps. What about the paper that you write your daily to-do list on? Biotechnology has modified microbes to produce an enzyme that can replace one of the chemical mixtures formerly used in the paper pulping process. The new enzyme not only helps reduce harmful environmental impacts, but also can help save money by lowering energy and raw material costs. Let's consider an example that is even more eye-opening. Biotechnology couldn't possibly have anything to do with your contact solution, right? Wrong. Some of the new and more advanced cleaning solutions use protease enzymes to help rid contact lenses of protein deposits. This means lenses can be cleaner, resulting in less eye irritation. And while we're talking about the morning routine, did you know that enzymes in some toothpaste actually help make your mouth resistant to certain types of bad bacteria? Or look at your multivitamin. Previously, the only way to produce the important B2 vitamin was a lengthy, chemical intensive process. By utilizing biotechnology, researchers have engineered microbes that produce vitamin B2 as a natural byproduct of a vegetable oil fermentation process. Enzymes continue to replace or help replace many traditional chemicals that have been used in household products, helping us to create a clean, healthy, and sustainable home environment. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.